We're here today at St Mary's Catholic Primary School, George's Hall, for the unveiling of a St Mary MacKillop themed mural jointly created by students from St Mary's and secondary school students from Mount St Joseph Catholic College, Milpera. With 150 schools across the Archdiocese of Sydney, collaborations of the kind we see here at St Mary's are examples of the rich opportunities that our students are given because they're part of a big system of interconnected schools. We were eager to hear from some of the students involved in the project to understand more about the creative process that turned their great idea into the spectacular work of art we see here today. I'm here with Kira and Teresa, who are two year nine students from Mount St. Joseph Milpera, who've been involved in the collaboration with St. Mary's Catholic Primary School, George's Hall, in the creation of this magnificent mural. Kira, how did you go about it? Well, we first began by coming to St. Mary's and um, gathering ideas from our surroundings, like the environment, the playground, and the classrooms. And then we came back to MSJ and then we started to put our ideas together so we could create the design of the mural. Teresa, what was it like to be part of this? Amazing. It's taught us like a lot of new skills that we can um, now bring into our visual arts classes because we've both chosen it as an elective. We've learnt a lot about composition and colour theory. So yeah, it's very helpful in our learning. Kira, in terms of composition, we see St Mary MacKillop at the centre of this. How did you make decisions about where certain people would go and certain symbols would go? Um, we decided that um, Mary MacKillop would be in the centre of the mural because um, both schools are Josephite and um, we obviously centre ourselves around Mary MacKillop's quote of never see a need without doing something about it. So we're here with four students from St Mary's and they're going to explain to us the key parts of the mural. Tony, can you talk to us about why Mary MacKillop's in the mural? St Mary MacKillop in the mural means to be kind to one another as I have loved you. Fantastic, thank you. And Mia, you're going to talk to us about the garden. What's the garden all about? It's how um, St Mary's as a commu community works together to like maintain a garden like by working together. Now Jaden, I can see those peace poles I think you call them. What are they about? Um, the peace poles represent how our leaders, how they represent the school and show kindness and love to everyone in this community. Wonderful, and we're going to finish off um, talking about this guy right here, the magpie. What's going on with that one? I the magpie is a big part of the school because it started off being scared of us, but now it's like a part of the family. And this whole mural's really about that family, isn't it? The students of St Mary's and Mount St Joseph who created the mural are clearly gifted and yet without hard work and perseverance, and the guidance of great teachers, the project would never have come to life. St Mary MacKillop was a woman of unshakable faith, incredible resilience and deep conviction, who had the strength and the courage to stand up for what she believed in despite fierce opposition and great personal cost. As we celebrate 200 years of Catholic education in Australia, it's important to acknowledge and celebrate the essential role of women leaders in our church and their pioneering role in education. 2021 is a year of celebration and we'll take every opportunity we can to showcase the achievements of the students and staff in all our schools. But today, the spotlight is on the students of St Mary's Catholic Primary School George's Hall and Mount St Joseph Milpera, who deserve a huge well done for their stunning mural. God bless.